The Value Chain Development Program, VCDP Fund Assistant, actively took off in Anambra State with full disbursement effectiveness in March 2015. The program, being jointly sponsored by the Federal Government of Nigeria, the International Fund for Agricultural Development, IFAD, the state government, participating local government areas, and farmers' organizations, was designed and commissioned to implement rice and cassava value chain in six states of Nigeria, namely Anambra, Benue, Ebonyi, Ogun, Taraba, and Niger states. In Anambra state, the VCDP IFAD Value Chain Development Program has recorded a huge success, particularly in the provision of improved cassava and rice production, as well as rural farm roads, conveniences and structures in markets, and other allied services, including capacity building for farmers. Impact of the VCDP IFAD Program in Anambra State is very visible in participating local government areas, which include Ayamelum, Oka North, Anambra East, Anambra West, and Orumba North. How committed is the Anambra State Government to this project? Mr. Fam Banefo is the Commissioner for Agriculture, Mechanization, Processing, and Export. Bar funding is no more um, a big story for us because the Excellency has been primed with uh, payment of counterpart funding. He believes that and understands the peculiarities and the need to uh, put and make sure counterpart funds are paid. He's up to date with that. Currently, the 2017-2018s are sorted for VCDP and all other programs. So uh, that's a priority for him. Agriculture is the number one pillar and he's seen agriculture as a priority development that will also increase the capacity of our youths, create jobs, bring money to the table, and increase the development across the board within our families in Anambra State. The various assistance this project offers to farmers and off takers include land development, training on various aspects of mechanized agriculture for various farmers' cooperative societies, supply of improved cassava sticks, cassava power dealers, processing machines, access roads for the evacuation of farm produce for all seasons. For instance, the program has given 112 youths, power dealers, and cassava planters, rice threshers, six processing groups equipped and supported with solar power boreholes. 640 rural farmers registered with West African Market Information System for Internet Marketing. A total of 6,247 farmers have benefited from input distribution for the cultivation of 9,435.5 hectares of rice and cassava across the designated local government areas, leading to the creation of more than 6,000 jobs. One of the job providers, who is also an off-taker on rice, Mr. Paul Eguato, speaks on his experience at his rice mill at Omo Ayamelum local government. Area. In Nigeria per se, I cannot be specific, but I, I am assuming that here can contribute one over 100 of rice being consumed in Nigeria. But in Anambra State, I can boast of 25 percent. Because there is a difference between the nation and the, the state. Anambra rice is the best rice in Nigeria. Believe me, uh, last two months we have been at Charaton, and the residents in Abuja have been coming to our stand to pick our rice. July last this year, we have been at uh, Eco Hotels. Like while negotiations have been trooping in, in our stand in uh, Eco Hotels. My greetings goes to His Excellency, Apo Kwedike Global. For he has done a lot in the rice sector in Anambra State. We farmers and the processors and the millers, we key in through effort value chain. His Excellency, the Governor of Anambra State, Chief Willie Madabrochuku Obiano, who made agriculture the first of the pillars of his administration, undertakes practical inspection of many farming activities, including agri shows and trade fairs, we are benefiting farmers happily showcase their produce. Today in Anambra State, there are many successful off-takers in the rice and cassava value chain. 
the VCDP IFAD State Program Coordinator, Mr. Mawuncha, expatiates further on the project activities. The program is implemented under three major components. Uh, the first component is uh, market development, where you talk about um, a value addition, uh, creating uh, facilities to facilitate the marketing of uh, both rice and cassava, like uh, provision of market stores, uh, provision of uh, processing facilities, and um, access road, um, access road, and um, other mechanical aspects. Yes, uh, to, pro to make sure that what you produce meets international standard. Yes, and then the second uh, component is a. Uh, Productivity enhancement, where you support farmers, both the farmer organization, strengthen them, strengthen their capacity to work effectively, provide services for their members, and also support them with their improved farm inputs, starting with land, land preparation, improved seeds and seedlings, uh, agrochemicals, fertilizers, to improve their yield. Also, support the capacity building too on good agronomic uh, practices. And the third component is about uh, uh, management and coordination, where you ensure that all these activities are effectively and efficiently implemented, where you consider other aspects of uh, communication, environmental issues to ensure that um, the program is effective and efficiently managed. Special attention are also given to women, apart from being active members of cooperative societies who are doing very well. Ten women who are recently trained on vitamin A cassava recipes at the International Institute for Tropical Agriculture, IITA. Now, now, if you look at this tuba now, on a good day, you said that it's well built. Have it? But the answer is no. Why? Because if you do not build up this place, there's no way you wash your tuba that your garden will not have sand. So you do like this. Okay? Yes. Then you also come here. This place is welcome. Then after this episode, we are going to wash. But before we go to wash, I want us to correct all the yes, all the thing that is on our tuba. Then the next thing we are going to do, after we wash, we are supposed to open the engine and grind. Okay? Yes. But now since there is something inside the engine bit, we are going to do what we have grinded. We have put inside what we call fermentation tanks. The Permanent Secretary of the Ministry of Agriculture, Mechanization, Processing and Export, Dr. Emenike Zinando, adds to the success story of VCDP I found in Anambra State. Value Chain Development Project, VCDP, it's an IFAD uh, project under the Ministry of Agriculture. It's a kind of collaboration to Federal Ministry of Agriculture down to State Ministry of Agriculture. Actually, it is meant to allow our farmers have full benefit of the output so that uh, it wouldn't be producing and then wasting away just uh, as pure primary products. And in Anambra State, uh, VCDP is intervening in two major crop areas, cassava and rice. In Anambra State, what they succeeded in doing is to let farmers know the modern benefits in farming the modern way of doing it through trainings, then through introduction of me modern methods, and then high yield seeds. 
then they also connect farmers to off takers and anchor brewers so that you see facilities that will enable you produce then you have markets to dispose of what you produce thereby improving your income they've gone ahead equally to support farmers in processing the products uh, like uh, in clusters they provide them with modern processing materials equipment and machines like for rice farmers they provide them with uh, centralized treasures and then harvesters then they only provide them with uh, uh, implements like uh, pumps, water pumps that help to water the farms and irrigation facilities. These are ways of enabling farmers reduce the losses through vagaries of nature and the crude method of doing everything. And then they equally, they will equally go ahead to provide them with what keeps them together, so that. At the exit of the project, the farmers will not uh, disintegrate and go back to uh, status quo. There is an effective inter-project synergy between the VCDP IFAS program and the FADAMA, where major successes have been recorded, especially in mechanized irrigation. The Agricultural Transformation Agenda Support Program, ATASP-1, intervention activities in this sector, includes capacity building programs for youth, crop processing, among others. The Agricultural Development Program, ADP, and others leading to the unique performance of all the projects in the agri sector in Anambra State. Mr. Jude Wankwa is the state ADP program manager. The success story of the agri sector in Anambra State comes with a new narrative that showcases the state ahead of others in the country. From the ongoing massive investment in mechanized farming and the entry of more investors in the agri-value chain, we are more and up for the best. Good enough. The governor, Chief Willie Obiano, is willingly paying the state's counterpart cash contributions as and when due. And Anambra State has become not only the best secured state, but also in food security. To God be the glory.